first video that's raising a lot of eyebrows, a risque rap performance with a scantily clad dancer on the floor of a high school gym. Welcome to 7 Action News at 6. I'm Dave Llewellyn. The gym was rented out for a charity event, but as you just saw, it took an inappropriate turn. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is in Mount Clemens tonight to find out how this could have happened. I was appalled actually. It wasn't so much that it was a sexually explicit performance by local rapper O.T. Rell and a dancer. It was where he performed one of his songs inside the gym at Mount Clemens High School. Matt Pitters, a former graduate, was one of the many people stunned when they saw the performance going around on social media. The club promoters in the business of running a business and I don't fault them. It's the fault of, you know, our school leaders. You know, I take full responsibility. Quentin Hines was the promoter behind the event that he says featured 20 artists, including O.T. Rell. He says he rented out the school gym for $2,000. A lot of, you know, local singers and rappers, R&B artists that want to get their name out there and they donate to our charity to be able to perform. Um, and we try to provide them with an opportunity to potentially gain more fans. They knew that the stripper was coming because I said it numerous of times. When am I going on stage? Because she has to leave. And then that was it. And there was no interruption from anybody from the school. I would expect that even if the facilities were in use from a third party, that there would be some representative from the school that would be there to monitor what was going on. And if something inappropriate was happening, to, to take action to stop it. Superintendent Monique Bell. I, I was appalled and disgusted and, and just hurt for our schools and our community and our kids that something like this would have occurred at our school. The application was for a charity event. It was to be a Sweetest Day musical event and talent show. That's what we were told it was and we have rented to this person before. We had no reason to think that anything inappropriate would take place. Nothing ever had in the past. And in this letter to the district, the superintendent also says that rivals recruiting worldwide is banned from using their facilities in the future, saying their trust was broken. We will never rent to him again. We're also looking at, um, at our policies and seeing if there are things that we can do to tighten it up so it doesn't happen again. As for the promoter, Hines says he will ask more questions when booking artists. We are trying to provide that platform uh, for artists to be discovered and uh, get their name out there, but we will screen them a little bit better in the future. I'm a regular person like everybody else, just trying to be successful and feed my family. That's it. In Mount Clemens, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.